So, first of all, congratulations on being the winner of the Spirit of the Whole Egg Award. We're Thank you. It's very, a great honor. Yeah, we're very excited for you. So, we just have a few questions because um, we know you pretty well, but some people might not. So, um, we, first of all, um, we know you're not originally from Rhinelander. What made you decide to embrace the Rhinelander culture and its history? Well, I married a born and raised hodag, so that was kind of my introduction to the hodag lore and uh, everything Rhinelander community related, and I just have fallen in love with the area. Um, I've been very fortunate to have befriended some uh, long-term Rhinelander residents, uh, such as Seth Vig is one of them, and uh, people like that made a, a really big impact on me, and uh, I wanted to be a part of the Rhinelander community, and um, Sed always used to say that uh, your community is only as good as the people that are willing to work uh, forward with it. So, you know, I took that to heart and, and here we are today. Oh, awesome. Well, you answered my question, um, who's inspired you the most? Is that who you would say has inspired you the most? Yeah, I, I've had a chance to, to meet and uh, visit with a lot of old, older Rhinelander residents and uh, just their, their love and passion for the Rhinelander area. It's very infectious. And uh, when we decided we were going to stay in the Rhinelander area and make it our, our home, a uh, lifelong home, um, you just can't help but be involved. Absolutely. So what would you say is one of your most favorite historical facts about Rhinelander? Jeez. I mean, <laughs> it's like asking me to pick my favorite book or my favorite uh, cover song. Well, you can name a couple <laughs> if you really want to. Um, Rhinelander is so full and rich with wonderful history um, with the Wisconsin River running through the community, its logging heritage, um, its history with Native American cultures that have lived here for hundreds and thousands of years. Um, just every direction you turn, there's great historical information to be gleaned. And so it's really difficult to, to put a finger on, on uh, just one specific thing. Okay. Well, so how would you define, define what the Spirit of the Hodeg Award is to you? That is a great question <laughs> that I think requires some deep thought and consideration, which I've done a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on the spot um, and off the top of my head, um, I think that uh, it to me it means um, you know, some recognition for your involvement within the community and, and more specifically, um, carrying on the Hodeg uh, heritage. Um, obviously, with uh, Eugene Shepard starting the, the Hodeg lore, and uh, every decade or several decades, it seems like certain people, uh, community members, uh, come to the forefront to kind of, you know, take responsibility for continuing that legacy. And, uh, you know, we can think of certain people over um, the last hundred years that have done that. And in order to carry on a lot of these traditions, I, I think it takes people picking up uh, the hodag, so to speak. And uh, I've just been enamored by the hodag legends and lore and heritage within the Rhinelander community. Um, to have the opportunity to, to carry that tradition forward, is it means a lot to me. And uh, there are several younger, um, people within the community, including myself, that have, have taken it upon ourselves to carry those traditions on, and um, I'm very, very happy to be a representative of that heritage. Well, and we definitely appreciate it, and we know the, the spirit of the Hodeg is in good hands. So that's all the questions we have for today, and like I said, we just want to say congratulations again. Thank you.